The next was Texas. We went from New Orleans to New Orleans was sick. Anything skating. crazy eventful that uh, to look New out Orleans for in the video in, like, besides uh, skating? Skating was sick. Skating. We stayed in like the we we stayed in the part part of New Orleans that was affected by a storm, I think. I want to say a hurricane. And uh. a bad hurricane. <laughs> Super bad hurricane. Anyways, and it was pretty much like where we were staying was exactly where all these Katrina? storms. Yeah. Was it Katrina? Yeah, I think it was, it was Katrina. Yeah. yeah. Like My bad for just absolutely not. No. Uh, I think it rained there. Yeah. It rained there. I think they got a lot of rain. Anyways, <laughs> they. They were just like, there were these places were obviously super cheap that they bought because they were affected by that. Like, like they were, houses were wiped out and, and we stayed in the, this commune place that like, this guy just like, handmade shacks all over his oh. yard and, and we basically like camped out in this one shack for a couple nights and it was really far from downtown. We had to bus into downtown, it took us like 40 minutes or an hour every day and um, it was... It was pretty fun though. It was good. They had like a shower that was like a bucket and they filled the bucket up with water and then like pull the string and like, like, I don't know, you probably see it. In, yeah, it's in the, in the, the footage, trailer. yeah. And or at least in the It was, it was video. pretty cool. The guy was like a little weird. It was originally supposed to be like, stay here and help us, like while you stay here, do chores, but like. Like couch surfing, but in a Yeah, challenge. like, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, but like, rebuild the literally, area. like, he made us move some wood one morning, and we were like, we poked at him like every day, like, hey man, is there anything we can do? Is there anything we can do? And there was like nothing we could really, like, he was like, no. Nah. So we were like, hey, see ya. <laughs> we're on skating. And yeah, New Orleans is hilarious, though. Deep South, really, like, they like, like, try to find a vegetable down there. Just try. Fried chicken. That's like, <laughs> that's what they eat. They eat fried chicken and fried shit. Like, it's crazy. Actually, when we got into New Orleans, the very first stop, we like, we got so psyched. We got, we found like a, com like, com like a store, basically a food store. And it just like, it only had fried stuff. Like, that was it. And then like, candy. And it, it was, I mean, we were psyched after. I was going to say. We were just like, the, whatever. Day chicken. one, two, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we ate so bad on that trip. We ate McDonald's. We were all broke as we were the brokest we've ever been, so we made McDonald's every day. Dollar menu is awesome. It's different in a sense. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. It totally. shows as well. Yeah, I mean. dude. Onion cheeseburgers. I mean, I'm not a really big fan of McDonald's, but I was the damn... I mean, you do what you, you, do what you gotta do. Gotta live. Yeah, gotta live. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird that poor people are fat in the States. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. That used to be like a sign of wealth. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. If you can't afford to eat, you're getting away. Or you're in the wrong area because, like, down there, like I said, like, no try veggies. to find a vegetable. Like, just try to find a vegetable. We were, yeah. Anyways, New Orleans, then we hopped out of a, a graveyard. We, like, we didn't stay in the graveyard, but we stayed near the graveyard. I think New Orleans, we struggled to get out of a little bit, too. Might have been, like, a one or two night kind of thing. There was one, I forget where we were, it was definitely in New Orleans, where we like literally camped at, like, not camp, we like, full covert operation, went into this yard, and there was like this like little bridge, and we were like, we were like posted under the bridge, like for two and a half, three hours, waiting for the right time to like, run, rush into the yard and hop on a car, but we just, I don't think the right opportunity came, or whatever, we might have been like, just like being, like not overly gung-ho about getting on or you know because there was like lack of motivation there was like definitely like gu like not guards but people working and like that kind of thing in the yard it was dark but like you could still get caught so yeah but uh needless to say when we did hop out it was a really epic hop we went to this graveyard maybe sat around for like an hour or two after breakfast waiting for it was one again one train in and one train out and yeah that's what happened the original night that we were under the bridge, we went to a yard that had multiple train tracks again, and we didn't couldn't figure it out. So the next day we went on Google Maps, and we figured out where there was a yard that was close that only had one train in and one train out, most likely going uh, east or west, yeah. and we just waited for a train to come um, going west, and then we just got on that train. And anyways, but we were in the graveyard, chilling out. I. I had to take a crap, so I had to poop in the graveyard. I had to put that in there. And and then as soon as I got back, it was like this train rolled up, and we were like, 
and we we were at the very end of the yard, so like where the train came in, um, yeah, where the train, where, I don't know, we're at the end of the yard, so when the train came into the yard, it would like slowly pull up, and like where the graveyard was placed, it was like further west than where the train came in, so we were very west of the yard, so when train came in and it's, it's like at coming at us so like it would slowly come at us and then like it, it like it was it like mo most of the train had was out of the yard and some of it was in the yard but they were still unloading or crew changing or whatever and then the train started going and there was a road between the graveyard and the train and the train started going slowly and Ryan just looked at us and he's like this is it boys let's do it and as the train's like going we basically stop traffic like run across the road and we're just running beside the tracks, and like, I think Samji got on first, we made sure Dale got on, Ryan got on, and then I was the last one to get on, and it was like, you're just running beside this train, it's going pretty fast now, like, hands on the ladder, and you're just running, 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 and you just pull yourself up, and you're just like, it you was can't just, not you can't it. not, like your friends you, are sitting there like, yeah, not even kidding you, because we crossed the road, I remember like, looking back at the road, and there was literally a dude in his car, just looking at me, like, just, like, in, like, like, kind of, like, face, like, chin down, like, just, like, holy fuck, like, did they just do that, like, <laughs> and then we were just gone, we were just gone, I was just, like, I was, like, I remember just being, like, that was another time where it was, like, I can't believe we just did that, like, I can't believe we just the fucking rush. did that, the rush yeah. is real, and then that train ended up sucking, that was, like, the worst train ever, because that was, we were going to Houston from, from New Orleans, and we got 14 hours in, and we literally were, we were at a dead stop, like, we were at a dead, I think maybe it was even, like, six or seven hours in, and we were stopped, and we stopped in a place, and we were stopped for six or seven more hours, and we were literally in the same exact place, and we didn't know what was going on, we stayed on the train, obviously, like, waiting for it to move, and then we slowly just decided that we were, like, shit, like, we can't, we can't wait around. We we have to go. Like t we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna hitch. We're gonna. There's a highway right beside the tracks. We we're gonna go in twos and we're gonna hitchhike to the next town and we're gonna figure out how to hop out of that next town. And we had no idea where we were either. We didn't know how close we were to Houston or if we were close at all or whatever. And we, so we drew straws. Me and Ryan decided to go together. And basically we we paired up like with. We buddied up like Ryan and Dale had a cell phone, a US with a US plan that they could they could follow data, so they could follow the maps, right? Two. So they separated those two and then we would just at the beginning of the trip we picked buddies. My buddy was Ryan, Sandwich's buddy was Dale. So and anyways, me and Ryan decided to go hitchhiking. We like we get to the road, um and we notice that there's like a crew that's like working on the train. Like they're literally like branches out, like working on the train. So we text Sam G and Dale and we're like yo, there's these dudes stay on the train because there's these dudes working and they're, they're probably going to get it going soon and you can like just stay on the train. We're, 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 uh, we're like, um, we're going to still try to hitchhike, but you guys stay on the train. And uh, anyways, those dudes did get the train going. And when they got that going, me and Ryan panicked and we were like, do we stay? Do we go? What do we do? Like, I have no idea. Split decision. We yeah. split decision. End up, we're like, okay, we're running after the, the train. And w and it was already how the train was like gone like it was it was gone and and we ran so as far as we could as long as we could we just couldn't catch it yeah. it wasn't even going fast we just couldn't catch it it was just going too fast for us humans are pretty slow yeah humans are pretty slow yeah we're not, yeah, yeah. We're not fast <laughs> anyways we, so we go back and we decide to hitch and i think we end up getting picked up by a cop and it's illegal to hop on that on that highway but he was nice enough to drop us off at a gas station and then and then we figured out... What did he expect you to do at the gas station? Like, to not hitchhike from Yeah, there? that's what I mean. Like, like you know, just like, well, stay just, there? Exactly, like... They know. I have no idea. But yeah, he just... I know, he gave us some shit, and then he just, like, dropped us off, and we made a sign, and then we were trying to hitch. We were asking some people, and like, no luck. For a little while. It didn't take long, though. And then there was, like, these, like, kids that I went up and asked, and, like, of course, like, they didn't say... Like, they, they, were, they were down, like, they were super down, and... Ryan was not down though. He I've was, heard it from Ryan. He was not down. Yeah. Like, and I was just like, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm like, I don't care if you're not down. I'm going. And we were not that. We were only like 
45 minutes, maybe an hour outside of Houston. So we weren't that far in a car outside of, outside of Houston. So, and just to be clear, like Samji and Dale are still on the train at this point. And we don't really know if they're gone, if they're going to make it to Houston. We thought like, the train's gone, they're going to make it to Houston so fast. Me and Ryan just like decided to hitch because, well, the train's gone. So anyways, hitch with these hippie rave babies to, to Houston. They're, they're going for some sort of, I think it was bass nectar. They were going to a bass nectar hippie concert. Hippie rave babies. And they were, they were... The, the, they were high as fuck on something like that wasn't weed. I mean, they had weed and we smoked it, but like they were definitely yeah. 